Hey, welcome to Flaky Biscuit. Too late. Welcome to Flaky Biscuit. I shouldn't look down. Throw it when I say flaky. <laughs> hey, welcome to Flaky Biscuit. Yeah, like that. That was good. My name is Brian Ford, also known as Artisan Brian, and this is Flaky Biscuit. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where I prepare and concoct all these delicious recipes that I make for my guests. Today's episode, we got my homie, Andre Mack. I'm so happy I've met Andre Mack. He is an incredible sommelier, restaurateur, amazing business person, and now thankfully my friend. But I've gotta make his most nostalgic meal today. And in today's video, I'm cooking something, or rather I'm baking something really, really fun. Something I've never had before. So. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all how I make Tasty Cakes Butterscotch Crimpus. Tasty cake is all the good things, all the good things up in one. Make sure you tune into the podcast to hear everything about it. Let's make this recipe. I think I got some Tasty Cakes around here somewhere, so I'm gonna eat them for the first time so I can figure out what I'm doing. Got some Tasty Cakes here. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's true. I got Tasty Cakes and I got some OPP. You already know it's Andre Mac represent them. That's just real. This ain't product placement, baby. I got the uh, holiday special Tasty Cakes. Obviously, I got also the traditional Tasty Cake. These are the butterscotch crimpets. To me, it looks like a Twinkie. I don't know. I'm gonna see what... Oh, shoot. Smell good. Woo! Ah, man. <laughs> wow. I've been baking for years and I know... This smell? comes from a factory, but it's like that good factory smell. I guess y'all are wondering, what does it smell like? Like, can you please explain? Cause we can't smell through the lens. Um, although I wish you could. The only way to describe it is it smells like a really excellent packaged dessert. <laughs> so let's dive into the flavor. Mm. The icing, it's a nice texture. Make a buttercream with like powdered sugar and butter, obviously soft and butter. When I think butterscotch, I think about them little candies. That's what they were called, Werther's. Mm -hmm. So how can I create that butterscotch flavor? Brown sugar, butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla, uh, maybe a little bit of heavy cream on the stove until it gets really thick, cool it down, put that into a buttercream. So that's immediately what I'm thinking, but let's take a further inspection. Sorry, Tasty Cake, I'm gonna put y'all on blast, but here are the actual ingredients for a Tasty Cake butterscotch crimpet. Sugar, flour, okay, not, hey, oh, not bad. I think I can do this. Egg yolks, non-fat milk, vegetable shortening, high fructose corn syrup, of course, diglyceride monate, sorbitan, monosorbate, monoglycerides, nutmeg. <laughs> How are you gonna put nutmeg all the way at the bottom by all that monoglyceride type stuff? Our tasty commitment. Our bakers are dedicated to delivering deliciousness and our devoted fans accept nothing less. That's why we put tasty right in our name. Damn, that was, that was, that was incredible. All right, so Tasty Cakes is not playing games, so let's get flaky, fam. I'm about to start making it right now. I'm gonna show you step by step how I'm gonna do it. All right, so we wanna make our Tasty Cake batter. All right, let's get started. We're gonna put all the ingredients. Remember the recipe's on shinaland.com. Make sure you peep that. The Tasty Cake itself is very, very moist, kind of dense on the inside. Uh, so I'm thinking we make kind of a, a simple uh, vanilla cake with egg whites folded into it to, to keep it light and airy at the same time. So we've got our all-purpose flour that's got the baking soda and baking powder mixed into it. Make sure that you do that because it'll create a nice, even, homogenous uh, distribution of your leavening agent. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna miss out on putting the baking soda, baking powder into the flour, whisking that together. Oh, and the salt, and the salt. Whew. Make sure you got the salt in there too, all right? So we're putting that in the bowl. We've got melted butter. Melted butter is great because the moisture has been released from it, so it's gonna keep that cake nice and dense, but like the good kind of dense, you know what I'm saying? Like that tasty cake dense. So now we're gonna add our melted butter in here. We've got some milk, all right, we're gonna add some milk. Sugar, all right, granulated sugar. And I'm, you know, look, I'm just going in, just I'm putting things in the bowl, all right? The only thing I'm not putting in the bowl is the egg whites right now. All right, we're gonna add our egg yolks. Don't forget to add that vanilla extract and hot water. Nice batter, but we're gonna take it to another level. I'm gonna whip up some egg whites and I'm gonna fold it into the batter, all right? That's gonna make a nice, airier, fluffier 
creamier, tasty cake. Best way to uh, get our egg whites whisked up is in the stand mixer. All right, so three egg whites here. Our brand new cream of tartar here. Nice little bit of that, boom, boom. And we about to get down. You can't see me. Woo! All right. So we have our egg whites whisked up here. We're gonna fold this into the batter. This is gonna be nice, moist, and airy. So to bake our tasty cake, here's the key to keeping that the, the perfect size. Sheet pan, all right? Lightly oiled. All right, spread the batter. We're gonna get our tasty cakes into the oven at 350, bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes until the, you know, you don't wanna over bake them, you know what I'm saying? You want it to stay moist. So we're going into the oven. Cakes in the oven. We're gonna make our butterscotch flavor that we're gonna to add to a buttercream frosting. And I think that's gonna get us to that tasty cake glory. Really simple to make this butterscotch. I'm gonna add some brown sugar here, butter, the tiniest pinch of salt, and a little bit of vanilla extract. And we want this to get really wicked. Look at this, perfection. So we're gonna let this cool. We're gonna infuse this into a buttercream frosting and we're gonna become Tasty Cake assemblers. Let's make a buttercream. All right, unsalted, softened butter, powdered sugar. I'm gonna add a tiny splash of heavy cream here. Just like that. <laughs> All right, so this is a, hello. Mm. This is a simple buttercream frosting. It's nice, sweet, buttery, creamy. What else would you want? Oh, I know, butterscotch flavor a la Tasty Cake. So. Add our buttercream here, and then fold in our delicious caramelly butterscotch flavor. Buttercream, butterscotch. Oh yeah, that's nice and creamy. Here's our butterscotch buttercream frosting. All right, cake has been out of the oven. As you can see, it's cooled because I'm touching it my bare hands to prove to you that it's cool. Uh, all right, so cake, it's perfect. Here comes the real test. I probably shouldn't have done that. No, it's, it's okay. No, it's, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. It's okay. Have you ever been in the kitchen before, Brian? I tried to flip it over, I broke it. All right, it's okay, it's cake. We were gonna cut it up anyway into the tasty cake shape. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our knife, I'm gonna cut beautiful sections of our tasty cake. So we're gonna take our cake out in sections here. You can see the bottom, beautiful color. It's nice and moist, it's perfect. Got our frosting. Look at that, you want a nice thin coating. All right, you're gonna see some brown speckles in there from your butterscotch. Frosting has set, it's gonna make it nice easier to cut to our tasty cake shape. It's, it's tasty cakey. You don't have to cut it into the shape, you know. This is probably okay as well. Who can cut the perfect tasty cake? Not me. <laughs> Gigi, what do you think? Odie, what do you think? <laughs> she, she said, nah. We've made my version of tasty cakes, butterscotch crimpets. I think it's time to do a little taste test. I got some actual Tasty Cake, and then I got some of my <laughs> Tasty Cake here. One of the things that you'll notice when you make Tasty Cakes at home is that uh, we're cutting into a cake, right? The little bit of waviness isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. 
And that's just because we don't have this mold. I mean, I, <laughs> they have made a baking mold specific, right? Pretty smart by Tasty Cakes to do that because, I mean, who else is gonna go out of their way to make this mold, right? So, taste test time. I'm gonna taste them side by side. Mmm, mmm, hey. Okay. Oh, hold up. Watch out, butterscotch crimpets. Watch out, Andre Mac. Cake is nice and moist, but it's also kind of fluffy. I right? just like a tasty cake. All right, frosting color, it's not exactly identical. Like my butterscotch flavoring was made fresh. So you're gonna see a little brown sugar in mine. But from a consistency and flavor perspective, I think the frostings, they feel identical to me. I'm happy with them. So we're gonna see, this was a, just an honest side-by-side -side taste test. It's hard to make these packaged products exactly, but I think I'm pretty close. And I think with this flavor, Andre Matt gonna be like, yeah, you got me. So let's go get flaky with it. Make sure you're liked and subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure that you're checking out the recipe on Shondaland.com. You know, get on the Discord, chat with the community about it and other listeners. And yeah, make sure you listen to the episode. We out.